Hello everybody, this is Tyle from Ohio. Just wanted to talk to you about a few of the songs I made and how I made them. Here is the original manuscript for my song, Someone Told Me. You can see the Project Files title, it's the same name as the song. So I just wanted to demonstrate some of the components of the song and how I made it, as well as a few other songs I drew up recently that I would like to discuss tonight as well. So, as you can see, here's an instrumental written by a good producer named Danson, D-A-N-S-O-N-N. Absolutely amazing. So, if you haven't heard the song yet, it's one of the best songs I've made this year. I've only dropped four songs this year. So, as you can hear, this is what the song sounds like. Off my Bluetooth speaker, it's the JBL Stream 3 speaker. Really dope speaker, but... I mean, it's not like I'm feeding the song through my cell phone's recorder itself, or like the play in that beat through. But it sounds absolutely amazing. Everyone's out for what's mine is a misery. Is so, a as you can see, try to write my name out of history. There's a first verse. Right? I was making these hits, was I making these gifts? I'll say that I'm never on rip, or just no matter about the set. If I'm ever on fable, don't forget what I bring to the table. Baby, I'm able. Just wanted to talk about a few of the components on this song. Scroll up near the top. Right here is a video projector and you can toggle all these with mute, solo. So hear them in isolation and by themselves. If you hear this one in isolation, This is actually towards the beginning of the song, as you can see, within the first 10 seconds it starts. This is not dope. There's no One more time. Never tried it, don't say I discarded. There's no way to hide it. And I, you're lying. We talk and she flying. We fight and say I'm crying. And everyone's out for what's mine. Is it misery? Is it a misread? They try to write my name out of There's history. The right here. I was making these hits. Was I making these kids? I'll say that I'm ever on rip or just the lead singer. The if I There's a back up. Don't forget what I'm left on the table. Baby, I'm able. What I wanted to talk about was the second verse, which starts right here. As you can see, here are other parts of the second verse. This, this, this. All con or all contribute to getting the second verse to sound like what it's supposed to. And the second verse is probably my favorite part of the song. One of my one of my best verses ever. I like it because it kind of slinks down a, a musical scale in a minor key, minor chord changes, and then slinks down a musical scale, hitting notes that evoke a sort of not foreboding but I guess not melancholy but I mean because what the verse is explaining is that I didn't actually cheat on my lover and then rear children with another woman that I met on the internet and flew out to my city wasn't running behind her back and getting pregnant so it's kind of the big reveal of the song let's just listen to it the first time <laughs> Eyes are 
rain down when the sun's down When you're not around in my cold town What goes down, what goes around Comes around and it's going down And what goes on when the blows on Was a different song when it's going on in my show I won't go out to the planet I don't know how not when I know how And watch this amazing night And watch my baby And the way they pay me to my famous grave And what I find the way from this My life saves I won't drive you crazy Break a circle of trust More than an if it's a must Baby, it's just us After I wrote the lyrics to this verse What I did to get the notes was I just did a bunch of improvis improvised takes Sorry Improvised takes of me singing the verse With my computer recording so i would record myself improvise the melody over and over again maybe in like five six takes and then i would pick a take i really liked like usually i go all system go all systems go on a certain take improvise it even though i have like the jail downtown who knows my every move barking down my throat screaming in my ear while i'm recording i'll get a rough take of the melody that I want. And then from there, I go back, redo it after I learn all of the notes from the melody that I improvised. And that's how I got a melody so, so damn awesome for this song. And I've done this numerous times on my other songs. Sometimes it's the only way to write a melody that's ever good enough. Just improvising one that's really soulful and then trying anything to max it out by recording it at a high enough standard so that it sounds professional so here it is again and i'll run it in isolation let's hit the solo button so Down when the sun's down when you're not around and might go to town. What goes down, what goes around, comes around and it's going down and what goes on when no goes on was a different song when it's going on in my show. I won't go around, get a second, don't even know what I'm gonna know how. Watching some ladies tonight, I'm watching my baby. The way they pay me to my favorite scrap and more if I'm waiting for that small life savings, I won't drive you crazy. I won't break a circle of trust. More than an if it's a must, baby, it's just us. And I don't. It won't mind, sorry. Ah, la, la, la. There's like lightning here. Lightning here. There's a lightning here. Lightning here. Lightning here as well. And this part of the song, which people know that I tried it, not trace a Netson song. It's very close to Netson, but I mean, it's not the exact same thing. I'm just paying him homage. So let's start right here. Turn off the solo button and then press go. <laughs> Before we're over with, I just want to point out a few more things I did on this song that I really liked. Like this part right here, if you listen to it, okay, let's make this stereo track, uh, hit the solo button.
So this part, I mean, whoops, whoops, on me and thought. Look, I hit the solo button. Okay, back to where we were at. This part right here, I I made this part because. I actually was talking with the musician the weekend. He actually suggested to put this on the song to increase its complexity. What he would do is he would sing a note, and you could actually hear him singing on the song. I don't know how we got on the recording, but I mean, he's he's a higher up in music, so it's the, so it's where he would sing a note onto the song. Then he then he suggested to me now improvise. After I see this, try and match the tonality and then do an improvised segment of what you would add to it afterwards. So, I mean, I guess if you start right here, you can hear him singing just one note, the same note that this solo, that this solo starts with, except... Did you hear that? And that's me answering. We do stuff like that in music all the time. They just call each other up and, and add things to our songs or like draw up things into each other's songs without each other knowing. It's actually really dull. And as you can see, I put that on the second verse as well. There's no way to hide it. And now you're lying. We talk and she flying. We fight and say, Okay, from here, you could hear him sing as well at this point. You can hear the weekend again. Hit one of the hit the first note of this part as well. There he is, right there. So like right around here is where you could hear the weekend sing onto my song from where he was at. And it just, I guess it made the master recording. We kept that and then ran with it. So... I guess that's all I need to share about this song. We're already at 13 minutes, so I don't want to make a video that's too long. So if I make a video of other songs as well, I'll make sure to do that separately. But thanks, yeah, thanks to all of you for listening to me, and thank you for tuning into this video. I mean, it's just a fun video I made the night before the NBA games are on. So I guess. Catch y'all later. Thank you. Bye-bye.